Well, you've probably heard by now that LeBron James is shocked, shocked, I tell you, that anybody would ever say he's undermined a head coach, undermined a head coach. Said LeBron, what do you want me to do? Turn my brain off because I have a huge basketball IQ? James is a savant for sure. I feel the need to say, don't get any ideas, Jimmy Haslam. I'm talking basketball savant. Uh, I don't think we, there's a reason to add him to the Berea mix right now. Look, nobody is suggesting LeBron turn off his brain. If he just uses his head for something other than basketball and storing his ego, he could easily see, see why his statement about never undermining a head coach seems so ludicrous. John and Avon, not Johnny and Avon, I feel the need to say, says every player has undermined a coach, and that LeBron saying he hasn't is like saying he's never traveled. First off, John, that's a crab step. I thought LeBron made that perfectly clear. Secondly, these same stories don't follow Tim Duncan around the NBA, so not every superstar is called a coach killer. LeBron has changed plays, ignored coaches in timeouts, sulked on the court. It happened with Mike Brown. It's happened with David Blatt. Last spring in Chicago, he overruled Blatt's inbound play, hit the game winner, and then crowed about how he scratched the original play call. Is that undermining? Is that disrespecting? I'd say so, but not according to LeBron. Our next commenter says, clearly LeBron doesn't know the meaning of the word. That said, I think most fans were probably happy he did scratch that play. Uh, but what he needed to do was, was downplay the fact that he did it, not aggrandize himself at the post-game press conference for being smarter than his head coach. Our next commenter says, LeBron is full of himself, just like most Catholic school grads. Okay, hey, are you saying that just because St. Ed grad Chris Fedor <laughs> has a chosen one, two, T-O-O -O, tattoo on his back? And if so, I guess that's kind of hard to argue. David Blatt and Mike Brown, maybe not coincidentally, were the two coaches who fawned over James the most. They kept saying how lucky they were to be coaching him. LeBron's actions over a long stretch of years said he agreed. But everyone who's coached him would want to do it again, given the chance. The Cavs took him back happily. Miami would, too. Factory 14 reminds us that David Blatt made $20 million in two years and wonders if, quote, you high-end character guys, end quote, want to start a GoFundMe page for the fired head coach. Bottom line, LeBron saying he's never undermined or disrespected a coach makes him delusional. But his talent, and yes, his high IQ, make him something else, too. And that's well worth the trouble. Guys?